Hi girls and boys, I know we've been getting you to practice writing your sounds a lot at home and I hope you have been doing that. Today I'm just going to do a little bit of a practice like we do at school. I'm actually using my lined board. So I'm going to make sure in your packs this week you have lined books so you can continue to practice using those lines and where to start and how big they should be. Let's have a look. We're just going to go through the whole alphabet. So we are going to start with A, of course. With A, we're going to do a small A, not a capital A. So I'm going to start at the top line, not the dotted line. I'm going to start at the top line and I'm going to go around, back up to the top and bring the stick down to the bottom line. I did not lift my pencil at all. I did all of that without lifting my pencil. Now we're going to have a look at the letter B, the sound B. B is a tall letter, not a small letter. So I'm going to go to the top guideline in my book or on my board and I'm going to do a long stick and then the ball will sit on the right hand side of the stick all without lifting my pencil. So I go down and then back up the stick and the ball sits at the bottom on the right hand side of the stick. That's how we can tell that it's a B and not a D. The letter C is a small letter, isn't it? So we're going to have it the same size as our A. He's going to sit inside the line just like A. I start at the top and I come around, touch the bottom line and back around for the C. Let's have a look at D. D looks really similar to B, but we don't start with the stick first. We start with the round part first. So I'm going to start in between these lines and I'm not going to lift my pencil at all. I'm going to go around, straight up to that guideline and carefully back down on the stick until it reaches the bottom to make a D, a letter D. Let's go with E now. E's a funny one, isn't it? E doesn't start at the top, it starts in the middle. And we go up and around. He's a small letter though, so he sits in between the lines. Have a watch. I start in the middle a bit and I go up and then I turn around and come back down for E. Next we're going to do F. A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm going to use orange. F is one we do lift our pencil, but we don't lift our pencil to put on the hook at the top. No, we start with the hook, but we do need to put our, lift our pencil to put the cross. So I go to the top and I go a little hook at the top, then straight down, then I lift my pencil to put the cross. And let's finish with G for this time, and then I'll make another video for the rest of the letters. So G, we're going to start the same way we did for A and for D, but G has a tail. So for the first time, we're going to come down and touch the guideline at the bottom. So I am going to continue my pattern, green, pink, orange, green, pink, orange. I'm up to green for the letter G. Here we go. This part sits inside the lines. I can see A hiding in that letter. And then I come down and I do the hook at the bottom. So we just did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. We'll do another seven next time. See ya.